I could ask uh, Stephen Buffalo to weigh in uh, on on this uh, on the energy security issue as well, and how how you uh, how you see it from your perspective. Thanks for the question, and it's first off, it's a great honor to be with these panelists here. Um, you know, uh, our, our communities. You know, we 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 seem to think that you know some transition needs to happen, but ultimately, uh, depending where you go, the issue of energy security is probably not elevated yet but it will be you know because right now like i know where i'm from we do pay our elders heating bill power bill everything like that so having that stability for our, our communities to, to at least see every day <laughs> life essentials is is imperative uh the the system that we live under under the indian act is is, is just not working uh you know our, our communities especially with the indian resource council have seen benefit from the oil and gas sector. They've invested millions of dollars in this sector. They have a thousand, many, many people trained in this sector and are prepared to, to come forward and, and to start being part of the solution. You know, at one time, you know, people and companies, I'm sure, and governments looked at our communities as a variable. You know, you don't know what you're going to get. But I think as we fast forward to now, you're seeing more of a constant that we definitely want to be part of what's happening. To, to meet the needs of not only Canada but you know the world if it now that's it's in the forefront 